It was literally so cold outside that I brought myself back. My feet stopped working. My gloves stopped working. My nose started to hurt. Everything was hurting. I couldn't keep going. So I came back and I thought, well, what's the best thing I can do? I can do a vending machine and combini review just to get my body temperature back. I got a hot can of Royal Milk Tea from the vending machine just to warm my hands. Didn't really want it. I'd already bought my stash from Lawson this time, but I got the hot milk tea anyway. Oh, and it's so delicious, this stuff. Mm. I wish that I could just give some of this through the camera. It is just gorgeous. Mm. Mm. Yum, yum. All right, now, what else have we got? Mm. Here's a brand of Coke that we don't have at home. This is called Coca-Cola Plus. I haven't really worked out what it is yet. It's got the same sort of white label as that, well, before they changed all the labels at home. It's got the same white label as that other stuff that I seem to remember, and I can't remember which one it is. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be sugar-free or light. They've got the same as we've got at home. They've got the red label with the black, you know, zero and light and all that stuff. This is called Coke Plus. I don't know what it is, and I don't normally like that stuff, but this is actually quite nice, quite quite like normal Coke. Anyway, that's Coke. I've got lots of sweet treats from Lawson this time, but I've got a couple of sandwiches to keep me going. The best thing about the kombinis in Japan is that if you've got something hot, that's like, you know, pre-prepared and ready to eat, they'll heat it up for you. If it's something that's not hot, that requires accoutrement, they will give you little wet wipes for your hands. I'll close that over, that might be a better light. That's a bit better. So they give you the little accoutrement for your hands, their little wet wipes. Let's clean your hands, it says. Clean up your hands, how cute. Wet hand towel. Or they'll give you a little stick if you're getting like an ice creamy type thing. Or they'll give you a little spoon. Or they'll give you chopsticks, depending on what you're eating. They're so, so good in there. So today we're looking at two sandwiches. Again, I have no formal confirmation of what's on them, but they look like this. That one looks to me like pork or beef or lamb or something with egg. This one, not entirely sure. It might be mashed egg, it might be cream cheese, it could be another sweet one. I got a yogurt that looks like it may have apple, banana, kiwi fruit and orange in it. Kiwi fruit, orange, apple, banana. So it may have all those things in it, let's see. This. I think is a container of little matcha cakes, like little matcha rolls with some cream. This I have no idea about, just says it's from Lawson Bakery. And I think it's another one of those, just a sweet bread type thing. Tastes a bit cakey. This thing I think is just a big roll. Again, it's from that Uchi Cafe brand, which appears to be a Lawson, made for Lawson brand. So I think it's just a cream, like a scroll type thing. We'll test that out. This one again, 2018, one, one half. I don't know what all those signs mean, but it looks like it's just a little cream cake type thing. And this one I just saw at the counter. Talk about impulse buying. This says on the very bottom of the packaging, cheese stick cake, cheese stick cake. How close and where can I get before that focuses? There, cheese stick cake. Hmm. I wonder what a cheese stick cake is. That will be interesting. So, what will we try first? We'll try this sandwich, because this sandwich is probably going to be what I expect it to be. I actually think it's going to be pork and egg. This is interesting, as well as the fact that they cut the crust off, they also tend to make a sandwich with three pieces of bread. I don't know what's the best way to get the light for this. Three pieces of bread, three slices of bread, and they put one filling between the bottom and the middle, and the other filling between the middle and the top. There's nothing else on there. They don't put any butter or margarine or anything else. It's just what it is. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yum. It is some kind of pork, some sauce stuff on it. The egg is just straightforward boiled egg. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's delicious, really tasty. Sauce on the pork is just fairly mild. Mm. Mm. Quite impressed with that. Mm. Dickhead. Just put my sleeve down on the remnants of the sandwich packaging, didn't I? What an idiot. All right, let's try this one now. No, there's definitely nothing telltale on there, so I don't know what it is just from the label. Oh, it's potato salad, I think. Mmm, mmm. It's like a potato salad mix. Oh, it's delicious. It's really nice. Mmm. It's got mm -mm. 
Oh, that's super nice. Mm. I'd definitely have one of those again. That is really, really lovely. Really, really yummy. Mm. I used to make potato salad sandwiches for myself when I was a teenager. I thought I was the only person in the world who ever did that. Clearly, I've had a taste for Japanese sandwiches all my life. I wonder who eats these sandwiches. They're not exactly what you would consider traditional Japanese food, and I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone. When I've been in a conveni, I don't remember ever seeing anyone, any Japanese person, opening a sandwich. Maybe they're just there entirely for Japan's Western population, which I wouldn't imagine there's much of up here. So I've been out since about 9.30 this morning. It's uh, 10 past four almost. I've been out since 9.30 this morning. I came back because I literally couldn't function anymore. I was so cold for so long that I was starting to slow down. My nose was sore. My feet were not working anymore. My fingers weren't working anymore after this mammoth effort to find a pair of gloves. This town, that was from Daiso, right? This pair of gloves from, was from Daiso, which is basically um, Hyakuen Shoppu, a 100 yen shop. The deal here is you walk in and there's a sign on the door that says everything is 108 yen unless otherwise marked. 100 yen plus 8 yen tax. So basically everything in the shop is $1.50, which is amazing because there's a shitload of stuff in there. So I got those gloves at Daiso because I went through two of the main underground shopping centers, Aurora Town and Pole Town, don't know about those names. Not a single menswear store anywhere. Nothing. And I found that really, really, really bizarre. So I got this pair of gloves and I thought it was gonna work, but it, it didn't work. And in fact, it actually got colder outside. It was 2.6 degrees when I left the hotel. It got up to about 3.3 when I checked at one point, but it was down to about 1.1 as I was on the way back. And that was, it was just too cold. Clearly my sketches, my light walking shoes that I bought in Estonia last July, a thin pair of socks, a thin pair of jeans, a t-shirt, an overshirt, and a thin jacket, they're just not enough for this kind of weather. Particularly with no sun. If there was a bit of sun to sort of warm you a little bit. The sun did come out at one point and there was a patch of blue sky, so it was out for a little while and it made an enormous difference just being able to walk in a tiny bit of sun. The, the difference, I haven't ever felt that great a difference from a tiny little bit of sunlight, never before. Anyway, I had to come back because I was so cold. Anyone who's ever met me knows how much I despise heat and humidity. Not so much dry heat, but the kind of disgusting sticky heat that we get in Australia for six months of the year, in Sydney for six months of the year anyway. So I really like it when it's cool and dry. And I probably would cope here in this kind of weather if I lived in it because you just, well, you would have an appropriate wardrobe for starters. And also you wouldn't go walking around for six hours at a time in inappropriate clothing, would you? As a local, you just, you wouldn't do that. So anyway, edit that now. It is what it is. All right, so what are we going to do next? I think I should leave the sweet stuff till after. So we might try a cheese stick first. A cheese stick cake. Let's see what a cheese stick cake is made of. First impression is it doesn't smell like cheese. It smells like a slightly savory cake. It's quite floppy. Now let's break it open. It looks like cake. Actually, it looks a little bit like cheese. Actually, it looks like it has a layer of cheese down the center. But no, it's more like some kind of custard. Surprise. I don't know how there are not more fat people in Japan with all the sugary sweet treats that the kombini have. There should be more fat people here. Maybe real Japanese people don't buy this stuff. It's only for novelty value for foreign visitors. I think I've put on weight while I've been here, but now I have I have been eating a lot, and I've been eating a lot of Japanese food, which I'm not really filming because I'm either, I'm in a restaurant or I'm standing at a bar in an izakaya or whatever. So I'm not filming everything, I'm just filming this stuff because it's novelty value, really. Mm. It's like what I've said before about other sweet things, it's not super, super, super sweet. It's sweet enough to be sweet without being super sweet. Mm. It's even got a slightly savory edge to it. I'd be interested to know if there's any actual cheese in there cream cheese or otherwise. Maybe that's what gives it the slightly savory edge, but I can't imagine there'd be much. There's no possible way I can consume all of this in one sitting. That would be absurd and I'd probably make myself sick. There's no point having it if you're just gonna throw it all back up, right? Oh, they are. It's a little, open the lid. So you slide that off, open up the lid, and this is what you get. And immediately you can smell the matcha. So it's just a little scroll. There's a bit of matcha jelly in the middle of it. Hmm. It's literally just a jelly scroll with cream. Hmm. Nice. 
I'm, I'm, I've discovered since I've been here that I'm kind of partial to the taste of green tea anything much. Uh, I think I'll even continue drinking green tea when I get home. It tends to only be something you see Asian Chinese predominantly people drinking in Australia, but I will become the exception to that rule. All right, so saving for another time. This one and this one and I'm gonna try one of these because they just come in little squares and I'll probably leave that in the fridge until tomorrow. All right, let's just try this one. So we're trying these little squares of whatever that says. First impression, sticky. You've got to kind of pull it apart in the bag. It's yellow on the outside, white on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. It's like it's just bread that's been kind of infused with whatever the yellow stuff is. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I still don't know what it is, but it's kind of nice. A bit different. Pop that in there. <clears throat> That'll have to be tomorrow. That'll have to be sometime after that. Pop that in there. Okay. That's enough of that for now, I think. Oh, that's the end. Goodbye. <laughs>